wake me when you need me. Halo 4 is really about the return of Master Chief. It's about the continuation of his story, and it's about getting closer to him as a character and understanding him more at his core. That's something that we're really looking at, trying to tap into. Wake up, John! You know, I think we, we wrapped up a great story with Halo 3. This is really about the next step in his adventures and how do we bring people into this amazing world in terms of sort of a visceral, raw, Spartan experience. We have an amazing story to tell. We want people to be able to feel that story, not just in terms of what they're seeing on screen, but in terms of what they're doing. So I will say in the, in the Halo 4 trailer, there are a number of little Easter eggs or mini reveals, and those are things that we're not really talking about or commenting on in great detail right now, but they are sort of seeding some of the things that you'll see in the game. We are here to look at the Halo 4 reveal trailer. Pretty exciting stuff. There are a lot of visual clues in the trailer. There are even some audio clues in the trailer. We got a lot of uh, chatter on the interwebs about uh, various aspects of the Chief's new appearance. There's a few things in there. The Chief's carrying a new weapon and he uses it in a very uh, sort of harried fashion. Some people have already figured out what, pretty much exactly what kind of weapon that is. Uh, it clearly has some destructive capability because it fires off like a hand mortar. There's a lot of comments about the fact that the Chief's no longer wearing his astro nappy. There he is, you can see very clearly he's missing his cod piece. We didn't make that up. Oh, the cod piece. Well, there were a lot of questions coming out of the Halo 4 video as to what was going on with the lack of cod piece. One of the things that we did that I know is super controversial is we took the cod piece, or as we like to refer to it, the space diaper, and we replaced it with a hardened black protective plating. And you know, it was in the cold. There's some shrinkage that takes place. So that's sort of the space equivalent of walking out with your fly down. Sure. It was great to see how closely people look at things and, you know, the Halo fans don't miss anything. I think that's, that's the big takeaway for me. For 343, taking on the Halo franchise, it's really about trying to stay true to what we feel is the core of Halo, while at the same time freeing ourselves to take risks and, you know, kind of push things forward and take chances to evolve Halo into a new, fresh place.